Now we're going to do an example using our speed of light formula. So here it is. We have a microwave and we want to know what's the wavelength of this microwave if it has a frequency of 3.44 times 10 to the 9 hertz. So very typical of the way we solve problems. You are first going to label everything, which I did. Notice I know I have um, where to begin, what I have, and what I want, where I want to end. Um, so we label, you're going to identify the formula. Well, because I'm dealing with light, a microwave, something from the electromagnetic spectrum, um, and I see wavelength and frequency, right away I know this is where I live. This is going to be our speed of light formula. Solve for the unknown is going to be your step three. This is such a good practice, this in habit, you always do this, write down what you're given, identify the path to um, figure out what you want to um, end with, and then solve for the unknown. Last part, super easy, just a plug and chug. Plug and chug. So we're at the solve for the unknown. I've labeled everything, I've identified my formula. Let's go ahead and solve. I want to isolate lambda. So speed of light equals lambda times nu. I want to get lambda by itself, so I divide both sides by nu. Lambda will equal speed of light divided by nu. Okay, now we're on to the very last easy piece, the plug and chug. So lambda will be 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. I just plugged in the speed of light for C divided by my frequency, nu, which is 3.44 times 10 to the 9. Ooh, I'm going to adjust this. I have meters per second, and that's in hertz. How can I cancel out different units? Let's go ahead and change hertz to per second. There we go. Per second. There we have it. Um, the seconds are going to cancel out. We go ahead and do the math, and this wavelength is... 8.72 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. There is our answer. Now, I do want to explore the unit with you. Let's look just at units for a second. It's meter divided by second divided by per second, 1 over second. You'll recall when you have a fraction divided by a fraction, the fraction in the denominator, you reciprocate and multiply. So this would become meters over second times reciprocate this second over one. That is why seconds cancel and you are left with meters. You'll start to see um, that and you'll be able to do it in your head. If you need to step aside and do the units by themselves, do the units by themselves um, and then you can attach it to that number at the end. Great, an example for the speed of light formula. I bet you love it. Have a good day.